This is a short introduction to MediaVis 2.0, a system for accessing, exploring and manipulating digital information spaces. It is developed by the HCI Group of the University of Constance, Germany. MediaVis 2.0 offers access to movie objects like DVDs or VHS tapes within the media-specific part of the library of the University of Constance. The foundation of our Knowledge Media Workbench is a combination of the zoomable user interface paradigm with the concepts of information visualization, dynamic queries and direct manipulation. MediaVis 2.0 positions every movie object onto an information landscape corresponding to its primary genre. Furthermore, it allows annotating groups of objects or the landscape itself with text, images, icons and dotted lines. The user may access each individual object or function by zooming into spatial regions of interest. As the user zooms into the content, more details and functions are revealed by a semantic zooming approach. For example, the user may access rich multimedia content like the full video of a movie. The zooming and panning navigation employed in MediaVis 2.0 takes advantage of human abilities like visual spatial orientation and high capacities of remembering visual landmarks. In addition to the movie objects, further information like the position of the object displayed on a floor plan or FAQs are displayed on the landscape. In addition to this explorative approach, MediaVis 2.0 also supports analytical search methods. These techniques are integrated by entering text queries into a search field located within the head-up display in the upper right corner of the screen. Therefore, we employ the concept of dynamic queries and sensitivity. Instead of removing all non-matching objects, the objects that still match the current query are immediately highlighted. With each subsequent key press, the visual representation adapts to the set filter criteria by expanding the size of the objects. Another technique for supporting analytic search is the concept of portals. By marking an area of interest, all selected objects are presented in a portal that integrates one of various visualizations. The user can choose between a rapid serial visual presentation, a visualization called hypergrid and a scatter plot called hyperscatter. The hypergrid is a novel table-based visualization combining zooming concepts and an internet browser. By zooming into rows, each representing one movie object, further information can be accessed. By integrating the hyperlink concept and an embedded internet browser, the user can emerge into the information space without losing context. Furthermore, the portal provides filter mechanisms that are independent from the visualization. Consequently, filters are preserved even if the user switches the type of visualization. The hyperscatter is a scatter plot visualization where each object is projected onto a canvas depending on two user definable dimensions. For example, year on the horizontal and rating on the vertical axis. This technique enables users to quickly get an overview of selected objects and their correlations. By means of an active filter, in our example Spielberg, the portal can be used as a magic lens. By moving it over the information landscape, only the Spielberg movies, currently within the portal's boundaries, are displayed. If the user wants to keep the current state of the portal, he can lock it and assign a name to it.
Now even when moved, the content doesn't change, similar to the pre-populated portals in the lower region of the screen. By logging into the system, the user may access his personal area on the information landscape by simple drag and drop mechanisms, and archive single objects or locked portals for future reference. Again, depending on the current zoom level of the information landscape, portals are also shown in different semantic representations. A search process is a complex activity usually executed in diverse situations and locations. Therefore, the concept of MediaVis 2.0 has been designed for application in different environments and on various devices. Such devices may include multi-touch tables in a library, which additionally enables simultaneous multi-user interaction. For more information on the MediaVis 2.0 project, and the presented visualizations, please consult our website.